and we got a soccer prop discounted from 51.5 down to 42.5 usually he's average in the 50s obviously we take every discount so we we'll taking the over on that uh, by the time this video come out this taco might have passed so on to the second taco I am pairing it with an MLB strikeout prop so you can pair this with the second or third taco and for pitcher strikeouts I did have Andro Payante but the Cardinals and the Royals game just got postponed so I'm gonna be taking you got several options you can take obviously I like to pair mines with the goblins so let's head on over pitcher striker we do have plenty of value today I even like the original lines so Dean Kramer's Gobby at 3.5, excellent. Same thing with Jamison Tyon at 3.5, I like it. I like his original lamp, take that on a separate slip. Bailey Aubert, 4.5, got a favorable matchup. He's been averaging about seven strikeouts a game. He's got the matchup, so I like his Gobby at 4.5 as well. These are all 2x by the way, so you can double up your money if the taco does hit. Next one's Chris Sale. It is at 5.5. I have to. I do have him projected to go over seven. Uh, so I might see if this gets bumped up or down. At seven, he might push. The one I paired it with was Blake Snell at 3.5. That is my pair. I am taking his original line at five. Never seen it this low for him. He is coming off of injury, uh, but usually average six strikeouts a game. Usually his line is at six or 6.5. So I'll be taking that his original line. But I'll be taking his Gobby to pair up with the first taco, which is at 3.5, and that should bring you a 2x. As soon as I find him. And that is my pair for the first taco. By the time this video comes out, you guys can pair with the second or third taco as you wish. Let's head on over to WNBA real quick. Uh, we only have one game, but I was able to find good value to make a five-man. Uh, Dierica Hamby, as you can see, it is a popular play, which I don't like. Uh, but I did like her line when she was at 18.5 last night. I still like despite the bump. I do have her going over 20 points. I believe Nafisa Collier is out, so Hamby should feast and should go easily over 20 points with her out. That is my first leg. Rikia Jackson, I will be taking her fantasy score. At 23, she does have block and steal potential, especially with Collier out. Courtney Williams, I am taking her points and rebounds, which just got bumped, which I definitely going to be taking. It was at 18 points, but it got bumped down to 18. I like it. We have, we have push equity. With Collier out, she should be the go-to option. Let's head on over to WNBA first half, and I'll be taking the wagon once again, which is Alana Smith fantasy score. She is at 16, 16.5. That is usually her line. I'll be taking the over. Past 5, she's gone over. Past 10, she's gone over 9 of 10. It's a wagon. I'm going to stay with her until I'm forced off of it. And for Bridget Carlton, I will be taking the under. Uh, overall, her, she could cash her full game fantasy, but she is not a quick starter. Uh, with Collier out still, she didn't even go over 10 uh, as far as fantasy score. Uh, it's going to be relied on Courtney Williams and Alana Smith. She still think, I still think she's going to have an overall good game, but as first uh, for her first half, she is not. So I'll be taking the under to complete a five-man for WNBA. Let's head on over to MLB, where it is a full slate, plenty of value. These props will definitely get bumped. Pitcher strikeouts. Dean Kramer, Jamison Tyone, excellent. Ben Lively, excellent. Kenta Maeda, great. Despite the matchup, I still think he can get three. Uh, Wheeler and Rodon, Pauly Fade, tough matchups for them. Same thing with Pepiot. Uh, Lodolo, I have found a better prop, and that is his pitching outs, which is at 16. I am definitely taking that. Despite he's coming off the injury, I just hope the blister doesn't flare up. Uh, flare up. Uh, he should easily cash against the Rockies if his blister doesn't give him a problem. I'll be taking his pitching outs. And that is our first leg. He is at 16. I expect that to get bumped to 16.5. Hopefully you guys get it at 16. 
Let's head on over to Hits and Loud, where I was able to find an excellent prop, and that is Adam Mazur. He is not a strikeout artist. Uh, I believe his strikeout is at 4.5. Uh, that's too high. Uh, his line should be at 3.5 or 4 as far as strikeouts, but at Hits and Loud, he's been averaging 6 hits. Mariners are a decent team. Yes, they do strike out a lot, but I will be taking that over Adam Masur. Let's go down the list. Brian Bello got a favorable matchup. I do have him going over. I will have him on a separate slip. Bailey Robert, same thing. I do have him projected to get 7 in this one against the White Sox. Eric Fida might uh, fade. I think he's going to push. Uh, he's been pitching great lately. Chris Sale might push, but I'm still going to be taking the over on him. Max Scherzer as well might push going against the Angels. Uh, he hasn't gotten over seven strikeouts this season. Obviously, obviously coming off of injuries, had a couple starts. Uh, obviously, we all know he's a strikeout artist. Uh, given the injuries with the Angels and the poor offense they have, this might be a push. Adam Masur, like I mentioned, under. Blake Snell, excellent at five. I like that prop a lot. You say Kikuchi might push. Bronzy Contreras, I don't think he's going to get past four innings. I'll be probably taking the under. It is a gamble, so it might push. Uh, but with the excellent data that we have found on MLB today, I might just fade that. Let's head on over to Pitcher Fantasy Score. Dean Kramer's on top of my list. Brian Bello as well. Lodolo as well. Chris said was just bumped. It was at 37.5. I think this is going to be a pitcher's duel. Uh, so either or is good. I think the game will be decided in the later innings. Obviously, both of them are their aces of their team. So I think it's going to be a pitcher's duel. So either or is good. Uh, most likely, I'll be taking pitcher strikeouts for Zach Gallen. Especially his Gobby. I believe that's six. Uh, but mix and match. Plenty of value today. It might be some a push day for several of these props. Uh, but the value is there. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Appreciate the support. If you guys want additional slips or the exact slips I take, it is on my Discord. It is on my description as well. Join up. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Appreciate the support. And I'll see you guys in the next one.